you and, and many others have raised the alarm bells here that the technology is advancing much faster than governments are recognizing, faster than regulation can keep up, and that this isn't just a fun technology that some company might get an advantage on. This is potentially an existential threat to civilizations, governments, society. So help us understand your perspective on the potential uses of artificial intelligence in any of the forms that you just described by nation states or potentially by by bad actors in the world. Um, and let's let's start with the perspective of the short term, the things that you're most concerned about on the near horizon within the next number of years. Absolutely. Let's uh, see how the dangers of current artificial intelligence models look like and how can they be regulated and possibly managed in the best possible way for us. And then we can speak about more advanced artificial intelligence risks. Now, obviously, the first one that everyone has been talking about is social engineering. And I use social engineering in the broadest possible sense. Propaganda, surveillance, a, an authoritarian super state that has become entrenched being assisted by artificial intelligence, uh, power in the hands of a trusted minority, people losing their jobs, obviously. Everyone has been talking about this recently retreat into ideological enclaves for humanity and this is the social engineering at the same time the current uh, state of artificial intelligence could also lead to other uh, social evils and risks long before we have ever reached the stage of artificial general intelligence. So it's not just that, obviously, when we have created artificial artif general intelligence, or it has created itself, we can talk about it, that as a possibility a bit later on. But even now, with the two narrow artificial intelligence agents, we have an additional number of implications that would, for instance, would encompass intellectual enfeeblement, cultural annihilation of mankind, psychological dependence, interpersonal degradation, and what I call the Latofagai principle. Where would you like to start with these? Well, you tell us what you think is the, the most pressing and most likely of those, and we'll work our way through them. The most pressing right now, obviously, is the social engineering in the very broad sense that we talked about. Artificial intelligence-driven propaganda and surveillance. These things are already happening and they will continue taking off in a very rapid way. And one of the first things that we should be doing as lawyers and policy makers is to create a, a ring fence around current human society, which is far from perfect, of course, but we have reached a situation where our very imperfect society can uh, runs the risk of becoming even worse if the worst case scenarios from artificial intelligence can will take place. And that is, of course, a misuse type, because as we said, we are nowhere near agent artificial intelligence at this stage, which would actually take its own decisions and uh, execute it, uh, its own strategies. So my suggestion would be that in the first instance, companies should bear legal liability for the actions of their artificial intelligence. So strict liability regime, as we say in law, would I set, incentivize companies to minimize risks and at least purchase insurance. For instance, you mentioned OpenAI. 
and uh, the and most of the people who just see this as a chatbot and can write poems, can give you grocery lists, and can make a very nice recipe with what is left over in your refrigerator. But it can also be used for negative issues. Now, admittedly, what we have so far, the models, have a lot of safeguards. Some people have tried to remove them. It seems that the safeguards so far are, uh, with what we have now seem to be holding. So if you go to your favorite chatbot and ask it how you can you know, kill your wife without ever, anyone ever knowing, or how to create a, a chemical gas that would be able to wipe out the whole city and things like that, they will deny this. However, we are in a situation that not only this thing is, is getting, I mean, not only is artificial intelligence models, they are proliferating in an exponential matter, but we also have open source artificial intelligence models. And the number have already seen the light of the day. And if you have used them, they are not any worse than the chat GTP or the other well-known ones from Meta or Google. They're just less unknown. But that means that any group or even an individual who's knowledgeable enough can take this artificial intelligence model and do a completely unrestrained and unrestricted artificial uh, AI tool, a chatbot still, but it would be able to use it for all these things that we mentioned before and even more.